وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى I'm going to be starting a new series where I will be going through common contradictions that we all fall into these common contradictions majority of us will find that we do fall into it and from now onwards inshallah ta'ala will be aware of it and avoid it bi idnillahi uh, al kareem before i go into the topic i just want to give a introduction as you all know my beloved brothers and sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he warns us against this concept of contradicting ourselves in what we say and what we do there's a famous verse that you all know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says ya ayyuhal ladina amanu lima taquluna ma la taf'alun oh those of you who believe why do you say that which you don't do this verse is a very powerful verse extremely powerful it's a reminder for every single one of us that we think about what we say as much as we think about what we do are we acting upon what we know and a lot of us walillahi alhamdu wal minna we've been raised in a muslim household we've been nurtured by parents who take the religion very serious so we know a lot of us what is halal and what is haram so we have that knowledge but do we really act upon it are we contradicting ourselves this is what the series is all about being conscious of what you say to other people and your own actions are you taking a lesson from this and a reminder walidhalika the great prophet of allah nabiyullah shu'aib he said to his people wa ma uridu an ukhalifakum ila ma anhakum an i do not want to oppose you all i don't want to contradict myself by telling you guys to stop doing this and then i am behind closed doors doing it or I tell you all to do this but behind closed doors I'm not doing it. I don't want to contradict myself he say. And this is what it's all about. Staying consistent. In these two terms they go against each other. These two terms are opposite to one another. Contradiction and consistency. This ayah that I started with ya ayyuhal ladina amanu lima taquluna ma la taf'alun. This ayah Ibn Abbas mentioned it came down on a group of people who said law la'lam if we were to know ahabbu al-a'mal ila Allah if we were to know the most beloved action to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we would have done it la'amilna we would have done it they said fadallahum Allah Allah then informed them he he, he told them ala ahabbu al-a'mal ilayhi the action that is most beloved to him Allah told them Allah told them that is inna Allah yuhibbu alladhina yuqatiluna fi sabilihi saffa Allah informed them and he told them that the thing that he loves the most is jihad fi sabilillah so now they know fabayyana lahum Allah clarified the issue to them they were the ones who said oh if only Allah told us if only we knew what was most beloved to Allah then we would have done it we would have acted upon it and then Allah informed them subhanahu wa ta'ala the most beloved action to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah told them that is al jihad fi sabilillah the battle of uhud came fabtulu they were tested yawma uhud in the day of uhud in the statement that they said but what did they do fawallu ala an-nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam they turned their backs on the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam mudbirin and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the verse down he said ya ayyuhal ladina amanu those of you who believe who iman has settled into their hearts lima taquluna why do you say ma la taf'aluna that which you're not going to do You said that you wanted to fight. You wanted to, you said that you want to do the most beloved action to Allah. You were informed of the most beloved action to Allah when you found out you didn't do it. Why? Why do you say that which you are not going to act upon? And so that's what I inshallah ta'ala want to bring to your attentions. There are six reasons 
why people contradict themselves and they are not consistent. The first one is there is a weakness in this person in terms of his connection with the religion. There's a ba'ful wazi'uddini. Your relationship with the religion is very weak. When you study the religion or when you are around Muslims or when you are exposed to the religion on a consistent basis, you start to pick up, you start to learn uh, what is right and what is wrong innately. Yeah, you have this feeling. The evil becomes something huh, that's in your heart. There's this wazi'uddini. You're innately connected to the religion. There's a lot of people who haven't got that or is very weak. That's one reason why they contradict themselves. The second reason is The person doesn't remember death and what is after it. Their heart has no connection with the hereafter. The stages to come after. The grave, the day of judgment, the meeting of Allah. It's all not there. The person has only just seen this world. And so they keep contradicting themselves. And we'll see, inshallah ta'ala, when I mention those contradictions, you'll start to see that these points are so true and so relevant. The third one is Adamu Mujalasa Salihin. The person doesn't sit with righteous people, especially the people of knowledge. He's around and surrounded by people who are evil, people who are bad, people who have يعني, uh, bad uh, conduct. They have weakness in their religion, people who are يعني, vulgar, people who are يعني, commit crimes openly, don't fear Allah and the consequences of their evil action. You're surrounded around that type of person. You see yourself contradicting yourself a lot because sinners contradict themselves a lot. People who sin contradict themselves a lot. You don't find them to be consistent. The fourth is التحسين والتقبيح حسب الهوى The fourth reason why people contradict themselves is they determine what is good and what is bad based on their desires. They don't determine it based on what the shara says. It's based on hawa and shahawat. They say, I feel this is good. I think it's a good thing. Hey, how do you know it's good? On what basis? Well, I think it's good. It's all desires. It's all his desires, his feelings, his gut feelings. That's what he bases it all on. Okay? I'm not saying that some things you can't feel that it's right or wrong, but everything, you're going to contradict yourself because the nafs calls you to evil. As Allah said, The nafs calls you to that which is bad. So if you're taking your nafs as, يعني, you're taking it as the reference point and your nafs is telling you what is right from what is wrong, you're in trouble. Allah says in the Quran, The ones who have taken their Lord, their desires, their desires tells them this is good, okay. Their desires then says the same thing their desires say to them, oh no, it's not good. You'll start seeing the person, one thing in one situation he said is good, and in the same situation, another, same, another day he's saying it's bad. How? Hasb al hawa. Today there's a reason for it. Tomorrow there's another reason. So there's hasb al hawa and shahwa. The um, fifth reason is the person is deceived by number. You determine everything based on number. You contradict yourself. If you keep saying, ah, the majority of the people don't like this. Ah, the majority of the people think this. The majority of the people are that. The majority, the majority. Being deceived by, by the large number of people, you contradict yourself. Because these people who you're using, the majority of them are misguided, as Allah told us in the Quran. Allah says, وَإِن تُطْعْ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يُذِلُّكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ If you obey the majority of the people, they will misguide you. Allah also says, وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ The majority of the people don't know. Allah also says in another place, وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِ الشَّكُورِ Little from the creations of Allah remember Him. So, the concept of majority, the numbers being the lie, brings about contradiction. You'll see that inshallah ta'ala. And last but not least, it's قِلَّةُ الرَّسِيدِ الْعِلْمِ The person doesn't have much knowledge. They lack knowledge. And I've seen people who are sincere, passionate about their religion, passionate about the deen of Islam. Their sincerity, you cannot question. You can't question their sincerity. You can see through them, and he's so pure and so innocent they are. There's no debate about that. But because they don't have knowledge, 
They contradict themselves so often and so much. These six, inshallah ta'ala, in the course of this series, note it down. It's one or two, at least one reason is why the people are contradicting themselves in one of the few contradictions that I'm going to mention, inshallah ta'ala. I'm going to stop there. Uh, before I leave, I just want to say, my beloved brothers and sisters, this series, it's going to be short, bi and to the point. I don't want to lengthen the explanation and bring quotes and references. No. The point is, bring the contradiction and how the people are contradicting themselves. And inshallah ta'ala, uh, uh, give you a solution and then leave it there. I hope bi kareem with the permission of Allah, that it doesn't exceed five minutes. Quick and to the point, bi kareem anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me as shaytan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.